This video is about geometry, pace 1112, which is the fourth in the course. Hopefully you're getting a little better <coughs> at uh, knowing that you need to memorize the uh, geometry handbook. And you're getting a little better at some of those proofs, okay? Doing the uh, steps and proving why you are trying to come to certain conclusions and uh, starting to memorize some of those codes like CTPCT, -T, right? Is that a fun one? <clears throat> Let's look at page seven here. There are two um, theorems in blue, theorem 30, and then it's corollary. Corollary means it's closely related to it. And, uh, but in both of these cases, it is a formula. So we're sticking a little bit of algebra in with the geometry, okay? And so if you liked algebra, this is fun. If algebra is not your thing, then you might be like, oh, I don't want to do this. It isn't that bad, all right? Let's talk about what this theorem is saying, all right? This theorem says that for any uh, polygon that has multiple sides, the <clears throat> measure of the angles of the convex polygon Okay, so convex means it's closed. The uh, sum of the measures of the angles is equal to n minus 2 times 100. So what that's saying is if we somehow knew how many degrees that angle was, and that angle, 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 and, that angle, and we added them all up, okay, how many degrees would we get? And it's actually very easy to figure out. If this has how many sides? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven sides, then I would take seven minus two, which is five, and take five times 180. And let's see, 40, so 900 degrees. Okay. How do I know that? Let's show you. It's real simple to show you, okay? I'm going to erase these little marks. And I'm going to start with this point right here, go straight across, and I formed a triangle. See that? And I come straight over here, formed another triangle. Come down here, have another triangle, and then I can even make a triangle right there. How many triangles did I make? One, two, three, four, five triangles. See that? And you know how many degrees are in every triangle. 180 degrees, right? Da, 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 da. There's the 180, okay? So seven sides, take away two. I have one, two, three, four, five triangles times 180, and that's the total degrees. Now, that, ha that doesn't tell me how many degrees each angle is. But that's not what we're asked to find. S means the sum of all of the interior angles of this entire convex polygon. Okay, so obviously this angle plus this angle equals whatever that one is. And this big angle here is equal to the sum of this plus this. Anyways, you get the point. That's pretty easy. Now, what if I have a regular polygon? That means all the sides are exactly the same length. Okay. So an octagon, now this had seven sides. If I were to do eight sides, um, and I'm not very good at drawing, one, two, three, kind of like a stop sign, right? Yeah, I didn't do that very, all right. Pretend like every side is equal, okay? If that were true, then every angle here is going to be congruent. They're all gonna be equal to each other. If this is a regular, regular means they're all the same. So, to find how many degrees each angle is, I would do the n minus 2, okay? So, same thing. You're going to say there's eight sides, so 8 minus 2 is 6. 6 times 180, and then take that answer and divide by how many total sides there were, which was 8, okay? And uh, that answer would end up being 135. Da, 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 da. Okay. 
check me out and see if I'm right. Okay, take 6 times 180 divided by 8. 135 degrees would be every angle inside a regular, keyword regular, octagon. So not every, not every shape, okay? We know we can figure out the sum for every single convex polygon by using this formula. This one only works to find the angles if it is a regular whatever shape, okay? So hopefully that clarifies it and uh, they give you some problems to solve using these formulas and you do need to have these two formulas memorized, okay? So as you're using them, think about them, try to commit them to memory and you will use them when you get to the checkup self-test taste test.